all right guys a uh, very good morning very good evening welcome to my channel this is malikarjun here so quickly today i'm going to demonstrate on how you can create your p file or sp file for your rack database or in case of if you lost your p file and sp file how you can start your rack database that's our today's demonstration here so i have this node one cluster node one where my asm1 and test1 database is running same thing i have this second node here where my asm2 and test2 database is running all this nodes it's a two node rack cluster and if i run it on the same second node node 1 and node 2 two node rack cluster let's say my test database i log into my oracle user dot env test1 so verify your environmental variable using env grep capital vara so test one that's instance name oracle base oracle home srvctl config database hyphen d test so that's going to give me all my configuration of my test database db unique name db name my oracle home oracle owner sp file password file and rest other things so srvctl status my database name so test one instance test two instance running on node one and node two let's quickly connect to my database instance on node one or node two show parameter sp file it says sp file which is located under my asm disk group so image what we are seeing it here sp file now what i'm going to do i'm going to create p file from sp file done so my p file got created so on node one i'll just exit and i'm gonna stop my database my database stopped it's getting stopped and i'll go to second node i'll go to my asm storage dot or inv plus asm2 I bad plus asm2 asm cmd hyphen p so we know this is a path for my sp file for the test database i'll go into that ls hyphen l so i have this sp file test dot or i'm going to remove that one sp file removed ls hyphen l so there's no sp file parameter that is got removed so now what i'm going to do i'll go to my oracle home oracle home slash dbs so in the dbs location we already kept my local copy of my sp file if i do ls tr test so I have this snap, these are backup files, and this is my init file. Just now I took a created this p file from the sp file. I'll just rename it, move my sp file as a backup with the today's data or whatever it is. So I moved it. Now I don't have sp file in the ASM disk group. I don't have a p file locally. So what I'm gonna do SRVCTL SRVCTL start database hyphen d your test database and this command will never start because we don't have sp file so we're going to try to start the sp file sp file is, it look for sp file sp file is not there and i'm going to look for a p file p file is not there and again in the second one also we're going to look for sp file not there and look for a p file not there and it never start your database fair enough now somehow i got a backup file of my instance now if i start this only instance one will get start let's say i have this a p file i got this p file so i'll just move it back so i have only node one p file if i start using a search detail it's going to start only node one but i need to create 
uh, SP file inside my ASM disk group using this P file. So if I do one more time, now P file, I got it on node one, but node two, I don't have it. I'll go ahead and run this SRC to start command. It won't start it on node one because node one, it got a P file, but we are missing the SP file on my ASM disk group level. Let's uh, let it start on node one and I can quickly show that one. Okay, node one, your database instance got started, but on node two, it is unable to find the P file and it is never started. If I check the status of my database now, your test one running on node one, test two is not running, test two will never start because I don't have a P file locally on the test two instance. If I connect to my test one instance, which is started, if I do show parameter, SP file, it will not show anything because it is started with the local P file. And then what I'll do now after that, I'm going to do same thing, SRVCTL, sorry, SRVCTL config database hyphen D, my test. So that's going to give me where is my SP file location. Okay, my SP file location is this one, but only node one instance is started because of it has a p file now let me go ahead and then create my sp file based upon this srctl config okay this is my sp file location let me create my sp file over here using that a p file which is available on node one where my database instance is started with that node one so for that i'm going to connect to node one instance sql plus slash yes, this dba and then i can go ahead and then create sp file equal to my sp file location this is my sp file location under this group using my p file i just type p file you're going to default uses that oracle home dbs location p file or you can give p file equal to path of your p file everything is fine okay from keyword is missing create sp file from p file right the p file got created you can go ahead and then check on this location in the second node we already connected to asm instance go into that location do lsfnl so you got your a p file so other way i can demonstrate one more way shut immediate many people will often get confused so is your database should be up and running in order to create sp file not necessarily if you have your sql command line that's more than enough to create your sp file Right now your database is getting down here on the node one where your test one instance was up and running. So I'll go ahead and delete this SP file one more time. RM delete. So ls l. So no file available right now here, no SP file. Now I'll just exit, verify one more time using SRGTL status database. Node one, test one, node two, test two, both are down now. I'll connect back SQL plus SSTBA, which is going to tell that connected to idle instance in the SQL command line. Right now, you are into SQL command line. Let's go ahead and then run the same create command. Right. It says your data test DB parameter file, SP file. So this particular directory does not exist. If the directory exists, this file will get create. So now I'll go ahead and then create this directory. Right now I'll go into this test under my ASM CD ls l So you don't have that parameter file directory. I can go ahead and then create this directory. MKDIR directory got created now. ls l You can see your parameter name here. And then is this created? It says no. It means we manually created this directory. Whatever it says is sys created, it is your database sys user got created that one. So lsfnl, so no sp file here. Now go ahead and then run the same command. Right, the file got created. What I mean to say here, your database is not necessary. If you have SQL command line, that is more than enough to create your sp file using that 
a dummy p file or the local p file and right now you can see your sp file got created and with a db name as a unknown so data db unknown but even though your directory is created over it it will be like with the unknown name because your database instance is down so you cannot do anything on that right now let's go ahead and then start your database i can exit from here i can do start my database right that is one of the interesting factors sometimes you may see the db unknown so the meaning is nothing but your sp file whatever you created it is when your database instance were down you created in the when your database was in shutdown state and you just connected your sql command line and you created it because of that your database has created as a directory unknown and make sure that you should have that complete path what you are specifying it over here right now you can see srctl status database your database got started and which is up and running on both the nodes S srctl status database your database name test one test two running on node one and two connect back to your database and do show parameter sp file data test parameter file sp file test dot aura so that's a quick intro about how you can create a sp file from p file or p file from sp file and then how you can push your sp file into your asm disk group or create your sp file into asm disk group using your dummy p file all right that's a quick demo about uh, playing around your sp file or the p file for your react database let's connect on our next session with uh, one more demo thank you